All right, everybody. Uh, Lucas here playing um, Low Key Valley. This is by In Your Rear View over on TGC Tours. He just released uh, the full version of the course. He had a beta, which I did not play, but I saw Amiobi play through it. So I figured we'll go ahead and give the final play or the final course a playthrough here. Um, looks I'm, I'm, it looks really good. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Nice mid-length par four to start out um, over some bunkers. Sculpting looks pretty good, maybe a little high or aggressive, um, but it looked pretty good. Green's maybe a touch small, but it's not too bad. Um, Bunker depth is a little weird, maybe a little shallow in some areas, but um, overall not bad though. Like the line of that. Let's see where it ends up. Oh, got a big kick forward. I'll take it. And there's a birdie to start out. Not bad. Got a little creek or, or not creek, a waterfall in the background with some rocks. That looked nice. What do we got here? Is this uh oh, we got steps up to the tee box? Okay. Walkways, a walking path with rocks, that's really cool. Yeah, there's the waterfall. That is really cool. That, that looks pretty good, actually. Splashing off the rocks. That's really well done. I like that. Planting looks really good throughout. Nice grasses, cactus, cacti. Um, yeah, green site. Let's look at the green site here. Yeah, I'm good with that. I may, I may have made the... Um, the front edge, like run off more over to here, um, and not necessarily down over here, but it's not bad. Looks good. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit our tee shot here. Winds at our back. I think this will be the right club. It's a great look off the tee. It's on another good line. Sit right there. And got a little bit of roll. It's not too bad. It's a pretty straight putt. There we go. Started out with two birdies. Not bad. My game has not been doing too well recently, so I'll take starting out with two birdies. And we have a drivable four here. Under 300 yards. Yeah, again, I mean, some of the sculpting's a little aggressive on these bunkers, I think. It's a little steep in some areas, and the mounds here, I mean, for a desert course. Maybe one if you get put up there to act like a bunker, like a big hill face or something. Um, I don't know. They don't look bad, though. They're a little shallow, I think, once you get into them, it looks like. But as far as the sculpting, I mean, I'd rather see them that way than just completely flat and just abandoned looking. So that's not bad. I'll take it. Did a good job with those. Um, let's see. I don't want to hit a three wood. That's right at it. Maybe a little long. Hit the hit into the front edge of the green. Yeah, we're on think. Nope, we're not. We're off. Okay. I got a pretty easy splash, though, I think. Should be able to get within birdie range. There we go. Alright, three straight. Let's come to the 
par five. It's a good look off the tee. Long bunker on the left. Very long. Um, cart path looks pretty good. Nice and smoothed out. Yeah, the mounding and I mean it's a I, again. I, I mean I won't I'll mention it um, anymore after this, but it's just it seems it's a little aggressive in spots for a desert course like this. But who knows? I mean you have canyons and mounds and hills and deserts, so I mean it's fine. All right, those are some small bunkers. I can get there. A little bit of wind at my back. Big water feature over there on the left. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Alright, another splash rain shot. Let me turn off my camera real quick. Sorry about this. Um, there we go. That way we can zoom around and do whatever. Interesting. Doesn't really come into play, I don't think. Unless that over there, maybe. I don't know. It's just a nice looking feature, though. You got a little bit of a walkway in between there. Oh, is that. Do we go back and shoot over the water from a tee box? Is that what those are? That's cool. I think that's probably what that is. Okay. Another good shot. Boy, I don't think I started this well in a long time. Four birdies and four holes. Yeah, this is a nice look. I like this. Kind of what kind of hop is this going to get? I think right. Ooh, straight up and then to the right. Okay. Not bad. It's a long par 4. How long is this hole? 503. Okay. Plays downhill, though. Is that going to get there? I think it will. Not bad at all. Oh, I pushed it. Yep. Just slightly. Cost me the fifth straight birdie. <laughs> Got a little pond over here. Yeah, looks good. Again, cart path winding through the little deserty areas looks good. And I don't think I can reach that water, but with the wind the way it is, if it's downwind, I can definitely catch it, but mm, definitely not reaching this in two. That green's a little, I feel like a little on the small side for a par five, but I don't think most people are going to be reaching that in two. Again, if you're downwind, you probably will, though. So so maybe a little bit to um, touch bigger, but it's not. I mean, it's fine. It's not the end of the world or anything. It's just a little small, I think, for a par five. But we're definitely taking driver here. It needs to get rolling. Roll down the hill. Keep going. Funnel in there. Okay. Again, yeah, leaves us with a pretty manageable splash shot. I 
be a very unrealistic splash shot, but it works in the game, so why not use it? Alright, uh, we got 418 yards. Hmm. I probably would have lowered this part like right here a little bit so just so, you know, just so that you could see a little a little bit more of the fairway it's a little intrusive i feel like but that's a minor very minor complaint and you can't really see that bunker either but that's fine eh, that may kick right it will all right. I wish you could see those bunkers from the from right here, but I mean the green just sitting up so high, it'd, it'd be really hard to do that. So I get it. Um, for another birdie. Oh, we got it, I think. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, that was a good putt, too, I feel like. Oh, okay. I like this shot, too. This is nice. This hill here just kind of stands out. I feel like it's a little, again, a little much. For this style of course it just looks a little weird probably would have flattened that out a little bit um yeah i mean just from i mean that's the first thing i see is just that mound and it looks a little odd but um the tea boxes look good let me get a closer look here at the tea boxes and stuff yeah looks good Again, the path looks good. Waterway looks good. Rocks around it. Yeah. And your planting is really... I'm, I'm, I'm just really well done. I like it a lot. Not coming back to the right as much. I like the little rock path up to the next tee there. I'm assuming that's what that is anyway. That's a long putt. Uh, pretty straight. It's not a good line. <laughs> You'd think I know what I was doing with that. Jeez. Playing really well right now. Ooh, is that, uh, it's quite a, eh, it's not that steep, I guess. It looked more steep than I thought. Okay. For the club, yeah, that's got to be the clubhouse there. A little bit of a range, maybe. wedge in. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that runoff there. I mean, it, if you're going to have a runoff, I feel like you should have like a bailout area over here with like fairway maybe. Um, yeah, it just seems like an odd place to have a runoff. It's not going to like flow into a bunker or into a runoff. It just looks kind of weird to me personally, but it's a pretty small complaint. Um, yeah, the rest of it looks pretty good. 
can't see the bunkers. Just see that one, but yeah. Again, you're up much higher than the green, so. A 96 power. I did not want that. It's going to work out, though. Again, I think that's pretty straight. Maybe just the outside edge left. Shouldn't have even shouldn't have even moved it. Not a bad front nine though, a thirty. Well, we'll take it. Let's get a better look at the clubhouse. See what we got here. Is our driving range. Oh, these cameras in this game on PS4, or PS5. They're just not very good. I don't know why these do this. I don't know what causes it to like lock into where you can't go past a certain angle. That is so weird. I like those brick walls as like a, uh, a separator. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Eh, it's not really drivable. I thought it was drivable, but is that OB right there? It's not. Hmm. Yeah, there's no real reason to go for this. I mean, it's uphill. We got a little bit of a downwind, but there's just no point in risking it. Another little waterfall behind here. Hmm. Almost looks just, I don't know. Something seems off about this one. I like that one. Was that on hole two, maybe? Or hole three? Uh, and this one just seems a little out of place. It looks a little small. Like, it doesn't really... I mean, can't really tell, like, what it is from right here. And, I don't know. I mean, when you get up close like this, it's fine. It looks nice, but... It's a little close to the green, in my opinion. But maybe you meant it to be a water hazard. Um, oh, that's a harsh slope. Ooh, man. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't miss left there. All right, I'm gonna save our par. Got another bit. A, a, a water body down here. What is this? Yeah. Oh. I don't. I mean, I'm. I'm not complaining about the water. It just seems kind of like that's just artificially there. There was like no water source for it. I mean, a lot of these are that way, but especially in like a desert climate, it just seems kind of weird. But. I did like that that first water body feature by the second or third hole, and then the one where you drove over and you had the little tee boxes right next to them. Boom, that was pretty good too. It's on a good line, just needs a few more yards, which I'm not going to get. Pushed it or pulled it. Oh, now it's going to go in now. Wow. Must have misread that by a ton. Again, we have this thing here where we can't see these bunkers on the, on the right here because this hill's kind of in the way. Um, I'd, I would have maybe lowered this maybe 5, 10 feet so that you could 
see those bunkers sitting there. Um, the rest looks fine though. Um, I don't know how far we can carry this down there. an interesting area for a for, a, for like a green side I like it I feel like we could have done a little more with the hillside and the they put a little more grass like over here some cactus up top maybe or something it just looks a little empty and barren right there but that's way long wow that wind really carried that one. Now we got a bit of a runoff here in the back, okay. Not bad, not bad. Another long bunker on the left here. Um, pull that a little too much, but meh, no, we're not gonna find that bunker. It's pretty good actually. myself in a bit of a blind spot. I'm sure if I was further right it wouldn't be as blind, but again okay, the planting's pretty good around the water here. Um, bridge looks good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, short. Needed to deal off that just a hair. Oh, that was terrible. Didn't want the full shot there. We're gonna end up bogeying this, I think. Yep. It's unfortunate. That's my mistake. Hmm. I don't think I can carry that. It is downhill though. Maybe I can. Is it worth the risk though? Probably not. So I'm just going to lay up, but. On a decent line, a little short. We got some roll though. Perfect distance, really. on the left. Holy cow. That might be one of the longest ones I've ever seen. Alright. Um, I think we can poke it down in between the fairway there. Or in between the, the bunkers. Yeah, that should be fine. The perfect distance, really. Let's see what we do here. 
Oh, look at that. Ooh, nearly slam dunked it. Hmm. Oh boy, we pushed that like crazy. Still almost made it. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to really nitpick for the most part. These are just really nice tee shots, nice holes, nice planting. Um, I mean, I just, I love these little rock pathways that you've made here. This looks so natural. What is that? Oh, is that a snake? Is that a rattlesnake? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Watch out for that thing. Um... Yeah, this is like a desert sawgrass 17 only on the 16th hole. Um, probably the right club. Not playing as well on the back now, we're not sinking as many putts. Again, I'm not I'm not complaining about blindness because I don't mind blindness, but this just feels a little unintentional maybe. Just feels like if you I don't know. It's very close bit to being able to see it. Maybe I just didn't put it in the right spot off the tee, but it's just so close to being able to see that. And you can't see the bunkers. You can't I mean you're so close to being able to see that bunker. I don't know about that one, but I mean, it's it's fine. Get a bounce to the right, please. Uh, got one. Didn't go as far as I thought it would, though. birdie so come to the, the finishing hole here at Loki Valley it's almost dry we'll probably would be in the right wind but we don't have the right wind so Backspin on it. That's my mistake. It's gonna birdie to close out the round. No, it didn't hit it. All right. So that concludes seven under sixty four at Low Key Valley by In Your Review. Um, it's a really solid course. Uh, I don't have too much to complain about. Great views off the tee, like I said. Um, Playability-wise, just a few things here and there that I would have maybe fixed. A um, few sculpting things, some hills. And I feel like your bunkers are maybe just a little over-sculpted, like around the edges, and then maybe add a little, a little bit more depth to them in the bunker. But uh, for the most part, it was a very, a very solid course. Um, not much to complain about with this one. Um, you did a great job, so good job on that one.